name is Jeff. The title of my book is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and the genre of my book is fantasy. At the start of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry is living with the abusive Dursleys, Harry's deceased mother's sister's family. They try to not let Harry go back to Hogwarts this year after Dobby, a house elf, paid Harry a visit and caused a ruckus in front of company. The Dursleys had Harry trapped at their house, so Harry's friend Ron had to come and save him. Ron saved them by taking a flying car to Harry's house. And the school year started great for Harry and his friends, but then one day, a cat was petrified. And this happened because the Chamber of Secrets was opened again. The problem was nobody knew who opened the Chamber of Secrets. And if all this wasn't creepy enough, Harry started hearing a voice in the walls of Hogwarts. A ways down the road, Harry finds a diary that says it, that says it belongs to Tom Riddle. This was weird because Tom Riddle went to Hogwarts 50 years ago. Also, there was nothing written in the diary. One day, Harry decides to write in the diary, and then mysteriously, what he wrote in the diary disappeared, and the diary wrote back to him. Then they have some dialogue in the diary, and Tom tells Harry that the Chamber of Secrets was once opened before, and Tom said it was opened by Hagrid. Hermione and a girl in Ravenclaw get petrified. This was after the cat was petrified. So people at Hogwarts were starting to get very nervous. As time goes on, there's a message written on the wall that Jenny Weasley was taken into the Chamber of Secrets. This was very scary for everybody. And then as time goes on, Harry and Ron visited petrified Hermione, and they find in Hermione's hand a picture of a basilisk. This tells them that the basilisk is, was the monster that had been going around petrifying people, and that is the monster that lies in the Chamber of Secrets. Also, this tells them that that the basilisk was the voice that Harry had been hearing in the walls. After a lot of creative thinking, Harry, Ron, and their cowardly professor against the dark arts teacher find the chamber, and Harry... When Harry is in the chamber, he saves Jenny Weasley and realizes that Tom Riddle was actually the one who opened the chamber 50 years ago, and that Tom Riddle had opened it again this school year. And then they realize that Tom Riddle is Voldemort. Here is an interesting passage from the text. The sorting hat could see Slytherin's power in me, and it put you in Gryffindor, said Dumbledore calmly. Listen to me, Harry. You happen to have many qualities Salazar Slytherin prized in his hand-picked students, his own very rare gift. Parcel tongue, resourcefulness, determination, a certain disregard for rules, he added his mustache quivering again. Yet the sorting hat placed you in Gryffindor. You know why that was? Think. It only put me in Gryffindor, said Harry in a defeated voice, because I asked not to go in Slytherin. Exactly, said Dumbledore, beaming once more, which makes you very different from Tom Riddle. It is our choices, Harry, that show what we truly are far more than our abilities. Harry sat motionless in his chair, stunned, if you want proof, Harry, that you belong in Gryffindor, I suggest you look more closely at this. Dumbledore reached across to Professor McGonagall's desk, picked up the bloodstained silver sword, and handed it to Harry. Dully, Harry turned it over, the rubies blazing in the firelight, and then he saw the name engraved just below the hilt, Godric Gryffindor. What this quote is trying to teach you is that it is your choices that make you who you are. It is not, for example, our parents that make us who we are. It is not who people think we are. The immediate context of this quote is that you always have a choice no matter what. And the larger context of this quote is that you could do whatever you want in life. Like nothing set in stone. You can you make your own choices in life and you could become whatever you want because it's your choice. It's nobody else's choice. This book was life-changing to me as a reader is it taught me friendship, bravery, and courage. All of these character traits belong to Harry. What I wanted to get out of this book before I started reading it was I wanted to read a good book that would hopefully change my life. What this book helped me learn about myself was that I am also brave and courageous like Harry. Two, two quotes that helped me realize a lot about myself are, I'll be in my bedroom making no noise and pretending I'm not there. This quote helps me realize that I am very sarcastic. The other quote is, 
You will always find that help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask for it. This quote made me realize that I ask a lot of questions. This book was very helpful on my journey. It helped me realize that I don't just want to be successful. I want to be successful and have a lot of great friends. I aspire to be as good of a friend as Harry is to Ron and Hermione. When Harry went into the Chamber of Secrets to save Jenny, he had no self-regard whatsoever. A quote that helped me realize something about myself was, when in doubt, go to the library. It helped me realize that when I don't know something, I should read a book. I give this book 10 stars. I would recommend this book to my sister because she loves fantasy. This book is written so well it makes you think that it's all real, it's not actually made up. Another reason I would recommend this book to my sister is the plot is so intriguing, you never know what's going to happen next. My sister loves books like that.